Hello, we're here in Newport, Rhode Island for the Digital CMO Summit. Here at the Hotel Viking are some of the world's leading marketers giving presentations on their challenges and opportunities moving forward. Over the next two days, we're going to interview some of those marketers for Digital 180. Enjoy. Hello, we're here with Dave Verklin, who is CEO of Canoe Ventures, and we're going to ask him a few questions after his uh, speech. He, he, was, he made a compelling speech in there about the future of television. And so let's start right there, Dave. Big change is coming down the road in television. The room was a buzz after you were done speaking. Tell us a little bit about what those big changes are. Well, as I said today, I think that television is getting back in the game. I mean, we're getting back in the game. I think the first thing that we've got to recognize is that, that you know, the, 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 the cable MSOs, the companies that, that have made up Canoe, the six big cable companies in the United States, they're not asleep at the switch. They really see some, uh, a need for change, and they think we can use cable's digital infrastructure to bring real change to TV. Think about kind of four things coming to the future television platform. Addressability, the ability to put a dog food commercial just in a house that owns a dog. Interactivity, you'd be able to click on a button and vote for the player of the game or click on a button and buy a product. That's interactive TV. Third thing is really a, a really new and more robust advertiser-supported video on demand channel. So you can watch what you want to watch when you want to watch it, but there'll be an ad in the middle of it. And then finally, using that wonderful thing called a set-top box to bring more accuracy, measurement, and accountability to TV. That's all coming over the next 36 months. Now, that, that's interesting because we've talked a lot about interactive television over the last few <laughs> years. And in fact, most people would, would think that companies like Microsoft are the ones that are leading into the living room, uh, the, the merging between the, the platforms. So you're telling me that Canoe is kind of, gonna, is kind of getting into that same space and really yeah. pushing? Okay. I mean, I'm going to tell you, I mean, I said this in this speech, I've said it publicly. We intend to bring an interactive television application to 10 million households by the fourth quarter of this year. Okay, we're doing this interview in May. I'm talking about in seven months, we're talking about 10 million households having an interactive television application, something called an RFI, where kind of imagine an L.L. Bean ad running on TV, a slate popping up on the bottom of the ad, maybe four seconds into the ad that says, click A with your remote control, with that ubiquitous clicker in your, in your TV, uh, in your living room, click A if you'd like to get the, the L.L. Bean catalog sent to your home address. It's a beginning. It's a little bit clunky, right? I mean, it's a, it's a mail delivery system, but we're going to have that application, an interactive TV application, we think on close to 10 million homes by the end of this year. So this isn't a dream. This isn't, you know, talking about what will be. We think we're going to be able to demonstrate the reality of this within seven months of, of us talking here today. So the technology assets necessary to make that happen, the clicker and the set-top box, you're saying that already exists in the home right now? Precisely. I mean, the set-top box is in a Canoe, the six MSOs that have created my company, Canoe Ventures. We represent 90% of all cable TV subscribers in the United States, 60 million households. There's about 60 million set-top boxes, digital set-top boxes, in about 32 million of those households. That's the infrastructure we, uh, we uh, need. Now, another question I get asked is, does some guy have to come to my house to do this? And I, and I would say, no, think about your cable TV. You ever notice how your program guide gets updated all the time? How does that happen? How does all that fresh data get into your set-top box? Well, the answer is it's downloaded overnight while you're sleeping. While you're sleeping, we can also put some of the software into your set-top box that will allow TV to be interactive using your remote control. So really the infrastructure exists today. The challenge and the reason interactive TV hasn't come yet to America is really a need for the six big cable companies, A, to have consolidated down where six companies have this much uh, throw weight, and B, to work together, to work together to create a national opportunity. That's Canoe. So last question for you, um, Canoe. Give us the, the, the final, who are the six companies sure. and what is the mission again for Canoe? Sure, the six companies that form Canoe are the six big cable, what's called an MSO, the six big cable companies in the United States. Comcast, Time Warner, Cox, Cablevision, Charter, and a company called Bright House, which is the new house family cable TV holdings. Those six companies represent 60 million of the 68 million cable TV subscribers in the United States. So that's, that's what Canoe is, a joint venture among those six companies to be able to unleash cable's digital footprint coast to coast. We needed those six companies to get together, though, to aggregate up to 60 million. If it's not, if it's just one cable company, it's not national, isn't it? It's, it's still, even Comcast, as huge a company as Comcast, 
is you know, 28 percent of the United States. You needed the six companies to come together to be able to deploy new advanced digital technologies nationally. That's Canoe, and that's been formed in the last, I, I started the job about uh, nine months ago. That's great. So it's May 2009, seven months from now, we'll be watching L.L. <laughs> Bean ads. Thanks very much, Dave. Thanks. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the, Thanks the conference. Thanks very much. I, I was honored to be here. It's great. always fun to be with TNS. Great. Thank you. Thanks very much, everybody.